welcome everybody and welcome. Guys, thank you for stopping by. <laughs> Very quickly before we get started, thank you for stopping by, guys. If you don't know who I am, my name is Frank and Gallows, and I stream every day, guys, or as often as possible. Uh, we do have a schedule here. The main streams are always 8 p.m. Eastern time. That's when you can usually catch me, but I do stream throughout the day, uh, maybe once through, you know, in the, in the daytime, for sure at night, 8 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, welcome, guys. As you can see, today we're going to play a little bit of Elder Scrolls. Uh, I don't know how long this is going to be. I thought we would uh, put a boy and make a character over because I wasn't happy with the last one. <clears throat> so, with that said, guys, let us get into the character create. <laughs> um, basically, the plan is, the school of thought, what we're going to do, guys, is we are going to remake our Elder Scrolls character. Uh, we're going to use this one exclusively for the streams. That way, I don't really have to worry about anything else. And... Um, Looks like we have our Twitch drops, our Ouroboros crates live, guys. So if you guys are watching, you can get our Ouroboros crate. Hopefully you stop by, guys. We're going to make a character, like I said. Uh, let's get to it. We're going to make him Khajiit. This is the plan, guys. Khajiit. And um, we're going to make him an Arcanist. So... Let's get to it. <laughs> uh, guys, as you know, like, as you can tell, I have like massive OCD when it comes to character creation. I'll, I'll nuke a whole character and restart from scratch for, for real, for real. All right, so uh, let's get this done. No gear. Um, now, I thought we'd take a little bit more thought when it comes to making a character. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but like I've been in the habit for these characters right here to kind of name them after things in Bloodborne. So I thought that might be a better option, guys. Um, with that said, though, I do want to pull up my Bloodborne bookmarks. Uh, that way we can get uh, some info going, guys. And I have an idea of what to call him. Now, in terms of what he could look like, uh, one thing for sure, I know we're going to make him as tall as we can, right? That is the first thing. That is the first thing, guys. What are we going to do second? secondly? Like I said, Bloodborne Hunter, right? Uh, I'm sure you noticed. We'll take a look at it once we're done here. Most of my characters are named after Bloodborne, except for my Arcanist, which uh, he kind of was born earlier than these characters. You know, it makes my life easier doing things like this. So, what if we made him a little bit more on the thin side to fit the Bloodborne aesthetic, right? Now, what else can we do, guys? We can really edit his face up. And I think that is our best bet. That is what we're going to do, right? But I need to look at something. And we're going to do that, guys. As soon as I can find it here. Sliders. Sliders. That's what we're looking for, guys. I'm not sure if you know this, but a lot of the characters, guys, the NPCs, they have very twisted faces. But I have an idea for me. I have an idea for me. We're thinking, guys. <laughs> We're thinking. And you know that's a dangerous pastime for me, folks. A very dangerous pastime. Also, did we lose a couple followers? Looks like we lost also, a couple. Did we lose a couple followers. Echo. We lost a couple guys, but we're gonna we're gonna keep going. <clears throat> we're gonna get back to it, guys. Let's do it. Okay, so okay, 
can we do here, guys? I think we'll do is recap. Let's go with the face first. I want him to be very old. So we'll bring his age all the way up. With that. As far as the adornment goes, unfortunately, guys, like if we pick an adornment here, uh, we kind of lose that. So we're going to have to go with head marking. The scars, you know, there's all kinds of stuff here. I think we might go with like some blood splatter uh, underneath his eyes. Uh, and the reason we're going to do that is to kind of make his eyes pop a little. But to find the right one. Seems like... Uh, you go with this one here. And then as far as the hair goes, we'll do like a dark grayish for his hair. And then, um, forehead still, this makes it pop a little bit more. Give him more of a thin neck. Um, let's check it with some champion gear. I like it so far. We're gonna go a, a bit of a simpler route, guys. For this game, I'd like to go like somewhat simple, like maybe just some scars and stuff like that. Um, I don't do too much makeup usually because, um, you know, you have to take into account the armor and the gear and you want to like color it properly, that kind of thing. So I kind of go a simpler route that way in case anything clashes, there's not too many things going on at once, like on the face and whatnot. But you know, when it comes to like making a female character though, I, I don't know how that would work. Uh, you would have to leave someone who, who makes like a lot of female characters to kind of lay down that path. Right. As far as I go, we try to go simpler. Pass Arcanist the body. I think I'm kind of okay with this body. He's going to be like a skinnier character. Usually I just kind of max out their, their buffness, or I make them all buff and stuff. <laughs> um, let's make sure. So he's going to be a Khajiit, Aldemir Dominion. Class, Arcanist, Body, uh, just like this, sorry, we'll lock that right there so then nothing uh, is messed up. Now the body marking, uh, we probably will keep it with nothing on it, but let's take a look at the markings here. Uh, so guys, for when it comes to Khajiits, basically the markings is going to be like fur patterns. Um, unfortunately, it's not going to be scars like it is for humans, right, that kind of thing. So we can't do anything like burn marks on them. Uh, like I say we're probably just going to leave it a simple white texture. And uh, I like doing that, like I said, because these things will kind of clash with your outfit if you have all these patterns. In my opinion, at least, right? So uh, I kind of like to leave it a blank slate for the most part. I kind of like this this marking here. I don't really see what changed to you guys. But it looks like his face has more texture. Maybe it is on his face, right? Yeah, I think it is. It's like the markings there. Um, but it's not it's not looking too bad. So we might keep it this one. Makes him look a little older. And that's kind of what we're going for here. Oh. 
it didn't really do anything. That's his face. <laughs> now that I look at it, that's just his face. Um, bring it back to that. All right, simple, no textures. I think I'm happy with this right here. Now, as far as the torso and chest goes, I, I kind of like one bigger torso. Slightly bigger chest. His gut and waist, we're going to snatch. <laughs> we're going to pull that waist in and get gut. Um, the arm size, well, let's max out the hand size first of all, because I like that. And then the foot size. Because he's still a Khajiit, right? I want him to have like as big and long of uh, balls or claws as possible. Uh, posterior, guys, that is the tail for Khajiit, so we'll do a little bit of thickness there. I'll max it out. I'm mostly happy with this, guys. What do you think? Um, also, guys, I'm aware there's probably going to be nobody in here. Uh, usually, we're trying out some daytime streams. Usually, I don't stream during the day this early. Keep that in mind, folks. Um, what can we do? What can we do to get this? Hmm. As far as the arms go, we'll make them a little bit bigger. He's on the skinnier side anyway, so it's really not going to affect anything, right? The legs, I think, will kind of keep. We'll do like one tick for the legs. Now we're at his face. So let's do the voice. Let's start from the bottom up. It's a good voice, but not for him. I think I like G. That one is too deep. It's between G and E, I think. Between G and E, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> e. E. We'll go with E. Now, as far as the hairstyle goes, I'm kind of we're kind of gonna just keep him a lion in character. Um, I was thinking either really white hair, but I need something a little bit more off tone, right? To you know, as far as white to begin with, right? So we'll make his hair a little bit more gray, right? I think that'll do. Um, as far as the adornment goes, the adornment is like facial hair and piercings. So without that, we won't have that nice little mane. I think we're going to keep that mane going. Um, the head marking we just did right now. Of course, I think we just did these two. The jaw size, I'm kind of happy with. <laughs> we could do a bigger chin to make it more full, right? Or thinner. I think we'll keep it somewhere in the middle. Chin height. If we make it long, he'll get like a longer beard. So we'll just do that. Maybe bring it back one. Um, as far as the eyes go, I want something that like is like a bright green to kind of really, so you can really see it through the dark markings of his. Uh, we get, it's it's technically like a blood spot of it, but it's like makeup or like bloodshot eyes, right? He has dark dark circles, dark rings around his eyes. Uh, let's call it that. So I want a bright color to really pop. Uh, so we'll go with this bright green. I think it's pretty good. As far as our angle, I want him to look a little bit more evil, right? So we'll make them more angular. The eye height. Do around. And squint. Guys, the more squinty they are, the more suspicious he looks, right? But he has very small eyes already. Like I said, I want them to really pop, so I'll do that right there. I think that's good. Now, eyebrow height, guys. Uh, I like bringing them down a lot so that he looks, they look angrier. Um, but we'll leave it around here. Eyebrow skew, guys, that makes your eyes go off to one side or the other. <laughs> uh, you know, kind of like that. Um, now, like I said, in Bloodborne, a lot of the characters that have taken Beast Blood, their face... Their face is like kind of uh, off to one side. It's kind of like malformed because they're slowly transforming. Right? It's kind of twisted a little bit. So we could do that. Or we could have his eyebrow skew a little bit. But I think we'll keep it right here. His nose, I'm kind of happy with his nose. Or we could make it smaller. Um... What I think we'll do is we'll pull the nose out a little bit more. And um, I think this is good. His mouth, guys, I want him to kind of be more pouty. We can make him EVL, right? But we, I want him to be more, more serious. The fullness, I think that's good right there. Right, ear size, you're gonna make his ears bigger for sure. His little small ears. Rotation, ear height, bring him up. I don't think we'll do like this. The ear tip flare, guys, we kind of want the ears to actually make an appearance. So I think around here is good. And I think we're mostly done this character and you can check with gear uh, I think this is good guys oh, it's unfortunate I can't give him any scars or anything like that but, but I am happy with this here Now, guys, uh, the name, the naming part is like the hardest part, especially if you want a basic name. The game has been on a long time, guys. The names are first come, first serve. So if someone else got the name before you, you're not going to get it, right? Um, which is why you have to be creative. And even if you are creative, um, you know, you still might not get it. 
right, a lot of people have been playing this game over the years. I don't think they have anything where they kind of like dump names and then like free them up. So, um, you know, there's that as well, right? So, what I think we'll do, guys, is we'll do something. Uh, this is like I'm getting in the habit of naming people, just kind of generic names overall across my RPGs, MMOs, whatever you want to call it. It helps a lot. And uh, as you guys know, Bloodborne is my favorite game. So, if we take a look at some of the weapons and tools, right? There has to be something we can call it, right? There has to be something we can call it. So what do we do about that? What do I do about that? That is the, the question, right? We could call him. This might be a good name. Let's see if it's available. I want to make sure this is the right thing. Now, the only thing you can do, guys, is go to create and see if the name is available. So let's go ahead and do that, guys. Name is already in use, right? So, and I had a feeling. Let's try this one. already a use right okay so what do you do guys when the names are all taken like this right unfortunately um you know like i said guys a lot of times you especially in games like this where the names are first come first serve you kind of got to get creative with it right so um i don't really like the silly names or right? sometimes you got to do what you got to do for sure um what can we do though guys Let's see, we had those names. I had those names kind of like in the bag. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't work. Right. Um, this is the hard part, guys, right? We could go with the name we had last time. Generally speaking, like me looking at all these items, uh, I don't think we're going to get any of these uh, names. These are very basic names. So uh, what I did last time was I took his name, right? We took his class name, which was Arcanist. Now we go with the Khajiit kind of spelling where they have an apostrophe, right? Now, what does he, uh, what does he do a lot of as an Arcanist? Uh, fate carver right so what if we do arcanist and then fate carver we mix those together right so that's our carver and that kind of looks like a khajiit name it looks like it right i think this is a good name here you might hear it going mute a couple of times, right? Because I'm kind of switching uh, screens. Sorry about that. But um, I think this is a good name here. Good. There we go, guys. We got it. And there you go, guys. Now we are in... 
you're awake. Now we are in game. Now we are in game, right guys? So Get them out just on time, guys. <gasps> okay, so we got them out. We do have some crown crates, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to do some basic setup, pretty much, guys. So, what I want to do is we're going to go to options, we're going to turn some things on, take some things off, that kind of stuff. Um, there's the gameplay, gameplay wrong, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Rules, need those regular. Um, audio. I like subtitles on, guys. Um, definitely let me know if anything is too loud, for sure. Uh, camera. Uh, camera. I'm pretty happy with the way things are here. I don't like head bob, though, a lot. So we're going to take off the head bob. First person field of view, we pull that out. Third person field of view, we pull that out as well, guys, so that we get maximum field of view. And I like shifting the horizontal position a little bit. Let me get the camera stuff right. Interface. Uh, we have all this stuff on. We'll leave it. Nameplates. I like having nameplates on usually, but we'll leave them off for now. Mm. Social. Combat. Uh, I like my ability bar to always show, including the back bar one. Attribute bars always show. Resource numbers, number of percent. Not bad tips. We, t we don't show those just because I kind of know what I'm doing a little bit. Ultimate number on. And uh, all this stuff we can leave normal. Um, buffs. Always show buffs on. So buffs, all this kind of stuff we leave on. Um, actually, social, guys. In social, I like to decline a lot of these duels, right? All of the client duels. Auto decline this. Um, Leave the PvP kill feed on. Um, in gameplay, guys, actually, I also like to take off some things. Combat cues. We'll leave that, but prevent attacking innocence on. I don't like that. Um, quick cast ground abilities on. Uh, companions auto cast their ultimate I like to have on because I don't like to manage them too much. Auto loot we leave off, guys. Prevent stealing on. That's something we do. Basically, in tutorials, we'll leave those off. And I'm pretty happy with these settings here. We have some collectibles, guys, right? Um, now, like I said, guys, I have played this game on and off for a long time, so uh, we have a couple mounts. Uh, I think we'll leave this Durzog on, because I think it actually fits him. Uh, we're not going to use it right now, right? Uh, we have some horses here. We have not not many things. Uh, we have some armor styles. No, no, no. I think we have some outfits. We have a couple outfits, guys, as you can see. Shrouded armor. That is from the Brotherhood. Dark Brotherhood. Handful of things, guys. We're not really going to be using too many of them. A mage's guild. Some basic stuff. Fate Scryer, we are probably going to keep on. This is what we're going to use, I believe. We're going to work with Fate Scryer. Now, what we are also going to do is hide his, um, his hat. And I think this is pretty good, guys. I'm pretty happy with this. And, uh, you know, we'll get our moves and all that stuff, yada, yada, yada. Not nothing I worry about. Uh, yes, I'm very happy with this. So I think that's going to be it for this part of the gameplay. Um, you know, a bit of a shorter thing we're doing here. But now we can log out of them. And when we start up our play too, we'll be ready, guys. Okay. 
I can work with this. I can work with this, guys. We're pretty happy with that. And uh, with that said, guys, uh, maybe we can work on something else. Um, you know, as usual, guys, I do want to say something. Thank you for stopping by if you are in here. We usually don't stream this early, guys, right? So we'll probably hold off for a little, little bit. Um, I'm thinking maybe we'll start our hour early tonight. Um, and we'll get some other stuff out of the way. So, guys, I do want to say thank you so much for stopping by. Um, that was just a little bit of stream setup, folks. Hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, maybe, though, maybe we should stick around. Maybe we should stick around, huh, huh guys? And uh, uh, there's the Durzog. Looks pretty good, right? I like it. Eventually, we will get a costume going, guys. Right? Look, I did work hard on getting this one here. Uh, but this one will be a fine supplement. We have some other guys I haven't worked on at all, right? Just got some names ready. There you have it, guys. Um, with that said, what should we do, folks? I was thinking of maybe starting up a Monster Hunter game, and I don't know if you guys are interested in it. Maybe we can make somebody more of, uh, in the appearance, like, department more hunter-like, uh, and use trick weapons and kind of make them like a Bloodborne-styled hunter. Uh, I don't know how well that will work out, because I'm not really good with melee weapons in that game. So maybe we'll save that for a little bit later tonight when we get started up. I think that's a good idea, guys. So what I think we'll do is we'll take a break. We'll start early tonight, a little bit earlier than usual. We could talk about all that, guys. Uh, for now, though, thank you so much, guys. I am Frank Gallows. And uh, we made our character here. Hopefully, we're going to be ready for later on. And I'll catch you all next time, guys. Okay, I'm out of here for now. See ya.